Hey, I'm Anna for the circular.org. Today we're going to take a look at Dublin's music industry. But not the obvious artists, we are going to check out some hidden talents. Hidden talents can be found everywhere, you just have to know where to look. Sometimes the easiest thing is to put in some keywords into your Twitter, Instagram or TikTok search. That's how we actually met our two hidden talents, James Shannon and Normac. They are two Irish rappers in their early 20s and they just recently started in the music industry, bringing out their own music, regularly playing gigs together. As of today, they can't imagine stepping on a stage without the other. But interestingly, they only met a few years ago on Instagram and the rest is history. Music is everything, plain and simple. Music fits everywhere. Any activity you're doing, well, the majority of them, in general, it is just amazing. I'm a very stressed out guy, very anxious guy. I don't really get to get my points across a lot of the time. So with music, that is a place where you are in, uninterrupted. Once you click on that Spotify song, you listen to me for three and a half minutes. There's no backing tracks, there's no vocal backup to this. This yeah. is all stealing it, and it's recorded. Exactly, this does mean something to us, and you see that every time we perform, yeah. that like, there's an exertion there. There was always like music kind of um, around me, and I was always doing music when I was younger, but it wasn't something I really thought like, this is for me. When I found rap music in, when I was about 14, like, I mean, that was kind of the one thing I was like, it just, caught me like you know what I mean made me feel like I could do this and express myself through it. Maybe 18, 19 is when I kind of started to see the you know that people were actually into it and I wasn't just kind of throwing stuff into the void almost you know what I mean. There was reception to what I was doing and from there like I kind of um you know I got around to meeting my man or in here. But I always took it seriously, but I think at that point it just became like, instead of me just taking it seriously, it became just serious as a thing. So I started making music back in like 2019. Uh, I recorded an EP called uh, Crap EP and released it. It wasn't, it wasn't too high quality, but it was my start. And after that, I released like one or two songs in 2020. You're initially told, throw it into the void and hopefully it sticks. Hopefully mm -hmm. something clicks and it goes to plan. And I just wasn't getting that, so quit for a little bit, and then this guy came along, pulled me back in, and that was it. And he pulled me back in. Yeah. <laughs> the rest is history. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> whatever's whatever's happened to you, or whatever you see around you, you can put that into words and make it. You know, more than let's say if, it, if it's a struggle, like you mean, you can make something amazing out of that, like you mean, something beautiful, like you mean. That's what really kind of drew me to it, I suppose, and inspired me to, like, you know, give it, give it my kind of a uh, touch, I suppose. I'd say how the ideas initially come is explosions. Yeah, it's just. Yeah, exactly. Here, 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 here. And then we'll find one and, like, we'll pick up a few and, like, look at it, see what we think of it, like, what could come of it. Uh, what well, might not come of it, basically pro and con it. And then also just like, what are we feeling? Which song do we actually like? Mm -hmm. And once we know which one we're trying to pursue, that's we hone in on that. It's like that need to do it, like, you know? But I suppose like when we make songs, it's often, you know, like, obviously we're always, gonna, always doing, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? But a lot of the songs is like, it's just a small idea. It turns into just a larger thing through just like fleshing it out. Do you know, because we love going to the studio and working on the song. Yeah. yeah. Jesus, man. Yeah, I Coming can hear in, that. Bro. I can hear that. Yeah, do Dublin's it. a small place. You'll meet someone that knows someone, or if not, you'll meet that person themselves. So that's like how we got in contact with um, the workman's promoter. I think people forget sometimes this is their job. They are like actively looking to fill in a slot all the time. It's all about just like once you get your foot in the door, like, do you know what I mean? You just kind of 
comes after that, which I mean, you just have to every time you do it, just suppose, just give it your all. With the beautiful bird that knows me, yeah, told you that we get there slowly. I've seen myself in five years. To see us doing bigger, better stages, just being able to do this full time, where this is, we wake up every day and just go, what's the next thing? A world like that, oh my God. <laughs> like, I don't care. After that, I don't need another five year plan if that's what we're doing. Every day is a new day. If I was to just put it into, you know, three words, I was still making music, you know, just still enjoying life, making music, making friends. Have a good time <laughs> and hopefully make money. <laughs> yeah, that's full time. You know? We'll definitely keep our fingers crossed for those two. If you want to see James and Normark perform live, they will be in the Workman's Cellar on the 18th of May supporting their friend Aaron J. So make sure if you want to meet them to get some of your tickets. You can find the link on our latest post on thecircular.org, so check it out. We also link to some of their songs.